Hello guys, and welcome back to another CAFCast. Today, we're taking a little bit of time to play some more Hearthstone. I've managed to gather some gold. This is taking longer and longer each time. The, the daily quests are they're actually not too bad. I had to do two wins with a warrior and two wins with a priest, which eventually I managed to get done with the base decks um, because obviously I don't have many cards yet. So it's very difficult to make sort of like winning decks straight off the bat. Uh, but that's fine. We're going to do an arena today, which is always a lot of fun. Now then, we've got 150 gold runies, which is good. The purchase has been completed. So, now the question is, who should we be? Now, we have, like, there's, there's a couple of different choices here in terms of, like, strong characters. I think they're actually all pretty good. They're all pretty good. Um, but I'm going to spend a little bit of time just having a look on this uh, arena guide thing that I was looking at before. The excellent, uh, it, it, it thinks the excellent is just like mage, excellent, there you go, boom, yeah. So paladin, droid, droid, rogue and druid. It says that hunter is kind of like average, which I, I appreciate. I mean paladin or, or druid basically. Now, <clears throat> I have played a reasonable amount of druid. Um, and I've had more success with Druid than I have with Pally because the Druid can do like special moves like gaining two mana this turn only, kind of stuff like that, which is always really cool. So I think what we'll probably do is actually go for the Druid, I expect. Because it's, yeah, I mean, the, 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 the power input is in a weak situation. So we're going to go for the Druid. I must protect the wild. Malfurion! So we can do this, basically, which is a plus one attack this turn on our hero, and plus one armor as well. So we can start stacking armor at the same time, which is really good. Uh, okay, so I have I have the card picks here as well, uh, which we can I can go through with you. Uh, we'll just kind of like go through as as we're as we're building. Uh, now, first one here: Sunwalker, Savagery, or Ancient Mage. Now let's have a look and see if I can see any of those cards. Uh, Sunwalker, Savagery, not, they're not in the terrible bit, they're not in the bad bit, they're not in the average bit, I think, um, hmm, Sunwalker, doesn't even seem to be in this, this, like, at all, how weird, Savagery, Savagery, no, that's not here as well, so, Maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing. I have no idea. Um, so let's have actually have a good look at them. So we've got a Taunt and Define Shield 6 with a 4-5 spread, which is nice. Very nice. Uh, we've got Deal Damage equal to your hero's attack to a minion. So if my hero had an attack of, like, 1, then that would make it another 1, I guess, which is not the best. And then Spell Damage plus 1. Again, that's not the best. So we go for the Sunwalker. That's just like a straight up good card, I think. Uh, yeah, this is definitely the Druid card thing that I'm looking at, which is very strange. Maybe these are just all like neutral cards, and that's why I can't see them, I guess, perhaps. Uh, so we got Swipe, which is a crazy good card. Teal, four damage to an enemy and one damage to everybody else. So it, it basically means that you can do a, do a really decent sort of kill wipe. Uh, and again, yes, yeah, Swipe is actually in the excellent list on the, on the thing that I'm looking at here. Uh, so I think I'm going to go for him. Look, I love the god shuffle, man. Look at him. Look at, his, look at his little face. He's like, oh, nothing important going on today. It's fine. Uh, I'm just going to... See oh, my God, it's a dragon. So there we go. Swipe. We got him. Now, uh, Starfire is in the great section. Soul of the Forest is not, which is interesting. And Flesh-Eating Ghoul also... I don't know about that one guy. Um, but it's, I mean, it, the, the, the thing is that also we need to make sure that we're balancing our deck properly, so it's, it's actually really quite difficult to do. Um, it just, it says straight up Starfire is good, uh, and the Soul of the Forest doesn't really actually say too much about that. Oh no, it's in the, it's in the average section, which is weird. Give your minions death rattle, death rattle summons a 2-2 two, two Trian. I think that's, like, amazing if you're, if you're stacking. But if it thinks that deal 5 damage draw a card is better, then you know, I'll, I'll agree with it. That's fine. We need to start thinking about getting some lower end cards. Uh, Spellbreaker? Does it think anything about Spellbreaker? Not seeing it. Not seeing it. 
It must be terrible then. Uh, we've got Goldshire Footman, who's in the, the terrible list. <laughs> and the Stormwind Knight. I think Stormwind Knight might be in a, in a better section. Yeah, he is. He's in a better section than the others. So we'll go with Stormwind Knight for now. Uh, which is fine. Now, it's, this is... This is I'm trying to do it a different way. I'm trying to do it so that we're actually just sitting here and, and discussing this as opposed to kind of, you know, just building a deck for the sake of building a deck. Um, I'm just seeing whether or not using the guide is a good way of, of doing it. It might it might not be. This might be a really bad idea, but we'll find out. Venture Co. Masonry, Mercenary is in good. Loot Hoarder is also in good. And Scarlet Crusader, is all, they're all in good. So this is a, this is a purely up-to-us choice. Um, you draw a card when he dies, which is pretty good, and he's quite low, a 2-1. Yeah, I like him. Let's go with it. Nice low kind of level guy. Uh, Wraith is actually in the really good pile. Deal 3 damage to a minion or 1 damage and draw a card, which is, yeah, it's a good, good to have, like, the choice there. So I think we'll go with that one. That seems like the best card out of the lot. And no one else that I can see here that's, that's really really up there. Uh, Imp Master, not really in the section that we're looking at. Secret Keeper um, is cool, but I don't think we actually get any secrets, really. Like, as a druid. Oh, I haven't seen any, anyway. I might be wrong. Might be, might be like loads more. Um, fine. Blood Cell Corsair. Remove one durability from your opponent's weapon. I think... I think I think Imp Master, to be honest with you, because it looks like the other two are not really relevant to my playstyle. Um, where is the Imp guy? Imp dude, where are you? It's not actually in here either. <laughs> That's so weird. Alright, we'll go with the Imp Master. Uh, because that's quite a cool thing to have uh, in your turn, keep on putting out 1-1s, one which is quite nice. Uh, the Mark of the Wild, I do like that card, um, but the question is, what do they think about this card? This random person who's who's setting up this deck doesn't actually have it in the list. Um, many cards have been re-evaluated. Yes, but there's no new cards, goddammit. Mark of the Wild... Yeah, it doesn't seem to be in there, that's interesting. Uh, the game of Dominion Crystal 1 is not really actually as useful as you think it would be. It costs 2 to give you 1 next turn, and to get to 10 anyway is really quick, so, I mean, I would rather go for the uh, Mark of the Wild, because it just, it just like gets you really, really buff and taunts you, so it makes makes it very difficult for them to kill you. Uh, so that's, that's my kind of thing. Uh, now, Wild Growth... Again, doesn't actually seem to be in the list at all, which is fine. Flesh-eating dude. Let's have a look. Whereabouts is he? Yeah, flesh-eating ghoul is in the good list. And the Dalran mage is not above him, so we'll go with him. I mean, the, the game plus one attack whenever he dies is pretty, it's pretty good. Okay, so this is our first of the rare picks. Big Game Hunter is awesome. Uh... As far as I'm concerned, I really like that card. Uh, we've got the Doomsayer, which doesn't seem to be in there. Molten Giant, I can't see either. Uh, I'm just trying to see if I can find any of them. Because it, I mean, you know, it's it's a bit, it's a bit difficult to do anything about about these kind of picks when you're just this is what you have a choice of. You know, you don't you don't really get to choose anything better. Uh, Blood Cell Raider. Uh, no, okay, so we'll have to choose this one ourselves. Now, the the wipe, the Doomsayer wipe, is pretty cool. Um, but he has to stay alive for it to happen. Uh, and you know, they can they can do things to attack him. I think the big game hunter is great because he's he's got this this really good ability. He doesn't cost too much. Uh, we can take down any really big guys that we come along against, so I think I'll go with that. Seems like the best idea to me anyway. So Let's carry on. Cult Master, Taurin Warrior. None of these guys are really of interest, apparently, from what I can see. So let's just read them. Taunt, Enrage, plus three attack, which is good, because uh, he gets enraged if he gets hurt at all, and we can buff him and stuff, so he'll probably be the best thing. Or whenever one of your other minion dies, draw a card. I don't think we're going to be playing enough cards to make use of him, so we'll go with the Taurin Warrior. That was a misclick. Can I can I go back? 
No. <laughs> man, oh man. But I got... So neutralize. Is that a card that I just picked? God damn it. So why can't I go back? Can I press back here? What happens if we go back? No, I can't do that. Uh, let's see where this card is classed as, like... Is it classed as good? Or what? Naturalize. <laughs> Uh, nope, 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 doesn't seem to be in the list, oh, dear. oh no it's there, <laughs> it's class as bad, oh no, ah, uh, can I, what happens if I back out, what, oh no, oh no, oh it's okay, oh, <laughs> oh my god, right well there's nothing we can do about that, we're gonna have to just play with a naturalized card, Destroy a minion your opponent draws two cards. It might it might be okay. I'm not gonna worry about the game too much with with that. Uh, it's not a complete write-off yet. Uh, now we need the Magma Raider or the Reckless Rocketeer or the Shield Bearer. I like the Shield Bearer just because he's a bit of a sort of like a plazo taunt, especially because we've got that plus two plus two. He could become very useful. Iron Fur Grizzly or Gnomish Inventor. Again, it's not really anything that's in the higher end of the list, so it's not too important. Gnomish Dude. Gnomish Inventor is in average, and Iron Fur Grizzly is not in the list. So I'll go with the Gnomish Inventor. A battle cry is a battle cry at the end of the day, I guess. Your main's cost three more. Give you hero plus two attack and plus two armor. Claw. Defo. Defo, defo, defo. Okay, savagery, deal damage equal to your hero's attack to a minion. No. Uh, I don't think that was a good one anyway. Let's see what they say. No, it's not in It's not in the list. Um, but these are rare cards, so... Savage Raw, no. Wild Growth, no. Moonfire, Naturalized is <laughs> down there. Yeah, I know. Okay. Give your hero plus four, plus four. Or plus four this turn and plus four armor to keep. Uh, when they cast a spell, getting two or plus two attack, and no, I'll go with bite. And yes, that's probably the best out of those lot. Uh, right, again, we have the option between the three, and Mark of the Wild, in my opinion, is the best out of those. Definitely. Uh, I like Abomination. I think Abomination is a great card, so I'm just going to straight up go for it. I like him. Uh, Starfire is like a straight up amazing card from what I can read here. It's actually like the only excellent cards are Dru Druid of the Claw, a six Swampoos. Harvest Golem, Shad Sun's Cleric, Swipe, and Amani Berserker, and Shenjin Shield Master. So not the the most. Mojgugan Warden. I've never heard, even heard of him before. But he's quite good actually. He looks 7 health. We'll go with the deal 5 damage. Okay, uh, anybody here of interest? Uh, let's have a look. Press the epic cards button. Here we go. Face manipulator is the excellent. Choose a minion and make him a copy of it. Blood Knight is down in average, and Sea Giant is in good. So there you go. I mean, that's that's apparently it. Uh, pretty straightforward. So Scarlet Crusader or Dark Iron Dwarf. Now Dark Iron Dwarf is in the great tier, and he is good. Give minion plus two attack this turn. He's a good got good card to play to do a buff. Uh, Scarlet Crusader just is a strap kind of iron shield, so we'll go with that. That's not too bad. Another Starfire. Uh, that's probably the best thing to do if we if we're allowed to have more than more than two, because uh, it's it just keeps on saying like, yeah, stuff has a great card, and the others. I mean, Amani Berserker is also is actually in the excellent section, um, but you know if I can keep on doing like three cards and that's crazy. So you can just keep on stacking your Starfires. That's fine. Uh, okay, so Lord of the Arena. I don't th I'm not sure if he's actually yeah, he's in the good section. Uh, Frost Wolf Grunt is like down and no mission venter. I have no idea. I'm gonna go with the Lord of the Arena. We haven't really got any many sort of proper cards to play with yet, so that's fine. Stormwind Knight is down, I remember because I saw him before. Uh, Spiteful Smith, none of that is good. Probably the best thing to do would be to go for another Stormwind Knight. Because he has the charge ability, it's quite useful. Um, oh, look at this, we can go for another Starfire. <laughs> this is just going to cause a ruckus in my deck. Four Starfires in a deck, that's crazy. More Mark of the Wild, let's do it. Absolutely. Uh, Loot Hoarder, Moonfire. Moonfire is not, like, it's in bad, apparently. 
Argent Squire is in great and uh, Loot Hoarder was in good. So we'll go with the Argent Squire. They've got a couple of level ones now that we can play with. Swipe is an excellent card apparently and uh, I'll, I agree with that. So we'll go with the Swipe. Uh, two, two more cards left. Uh, we could go with the Mark of the Wild again because we've got like a million of them. Uh, the Otis Snapjaw and the Young Dragonhawk are just not really worth our time, I don't think. So we'll just go for it. We are buffing ourselves to hell. Now this is a rare card pick. We've got Twilight Drake, who is in great. Mind Control Tech, who is in average. And Violet Teacher, who is also in average. So Twilight Drake is in great. We will do that. Boom deck has been constructed and I am already knackered. Jesus. I'm going to get some more of my, my tea here. Mm -mm -mm. There are 25 different ranks into only in rank mode and above those the legend rank. Now I got like to level 20 I think 20. It's just hard. It's really hard because everyone is like full on amazing Al decks. Versus Jaina. So you just can't win every time, which is a shame. I must protect the uh, Right, okay. So, we're going to get rid of these two. Uh, hopefully get some lower end minions. Good. That'll do to start off with. A nice taunty dude. And we can do a couple of things with that, which is pretty good. And we've got the coin as well. Hello. Greetings. My greetings. My greetings. Oh, nope. Uh, taunt, please. You Thank you. Pass. Thank you. Now we'll give him a plus two, plus two if we get one, because that would be a great way to start off with with a, with a two six. I don't mean to get rid of that guy. That's 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 not good. Hmm. Deal three damage to a minion or one damage and draw a card. Give you hero plus two and plus two this turn. Uh. Let's just do that, I guess. I mean, we could we could technically <coughs> excuse me if we, we could technically put out another coin and do this to just get another card in our hands, which I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do one damage, draw a card. That's not a valid card. That's not. A valid oh, I can't do it. Oh, that's a shame. Um, so I'm just going to have to do this instead. Just give ourselves a nice bit of uh, damage that I could use, but I can't. Because I've already attacked. <laughs> the armor, the armor stack is more well important played. anyway. Uh, oops. A <clears throat> mistake. Oh, I am not a morning person. Okay, it masters out really, okay? Thank you. It would be helpful if we got this plus two, plus two. <clears throat> but we haven't so far. Uh, choose three damage or do something this turn. Uh, we'll do the one damage draw a card. Because that's not going to kill him anyway. So we may as well just do one damage draw a card. Take out the imp. There we go, look. So we can now just destroy a minion. And we can make them draw two cards, but... I guess that's like a hold on until the very end. Use it as a last resort to get rid of uh, like a, a big scary monster. Because he can do things like that. And just straight up draw two cards, which is very painful. Very, very painful. I'm just going to start working through my uh, guy here, which is very frustrating. Um, oh, well, this is perfect. Uh yeah, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna have to do it, uh, but it doesn't take out the Argent Squire, unfortunately, because they had uh, a Dubri attack on. Hmm. Okay, so now beating Kodo. Destroy random anyone with a two or less attack, which is very frustrating. That about cry is not. Not the, not the funnest thing to, to do. Um, so he chooses a minion and becomes a copy of it. Not the best. We could do a straight up charge. Plus two attack this turn. Gain plus one health for each card in your hand. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, um, yeah, we'll do, we'll do that. Because he'll become pretty buff. Which is good. And then he can uh, probably kill some dudes next turn, maybe. <laughs> if he attacks me, then I'll be able to attack him and kill him next turn. That 3-5 is just a little bit difficult to get through. But 
I mean, actualize. Get out of here. Okay. Drink with me, friend. Yep. So he's taking that guy back to make sure he's not hurt anymore, which is super frustrating. And we can deal five damage and draw a card. Um, that's probably the best thing to do. But I mean, it's difficult. It's difficult. There are other things. No, I, th I think we're gonna have to do that, and then just attack with this guy and just do a, a, a what, a, like a trade. I think. I think that was. I think that was a good move, just to get rid of that that higher end card. I mean, he can he can do four attack damage well to me this time, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. To you. Pass me that arc light spanner. Okay, so they've got more cards out. <laughs> We need some of the interesting, like, swipes, wipes, and claws and stuff. The good cards. Which hopefully we'll be getting. Oh, here we go. This is good. Right. Four damage and one to all others. So we'll just do that. Bam. Get rid of everybody. Oh, I should have put him out first. No. Oh, well. There's not much we can do about that now. I'll just put him out. Job done. A natural mistake. Okay, so they've got a copy of that card. Damn it! Damn it! These these newbie mistakes are what are ruining my game. Ah oh man, that's not good. So it's, it's all gone wrong again. Is he gonna attack me with a panda? Get out of here, panda! Ah, painful. Okay. I can I can actually specifically choose a minion to become a copy of. So I think I want to keep that. Um, we're going to go with this guy. And we're going to charge him up to plus two, so he's a four. And then we're going to kill that dude. And then that'll do. That's fine. We've, we, we haven't got much in the way of serious damage. Uh, right, well, I'll choose a minion to, I'll choose to a copy of that minion then. I guess. If he's going to play this game. Oh, man, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. So I could do like that five damage draw a card, but I'm gonna actually just play that. Become a copy of that. Uh, and then I'm going to probably do a draw a card. Cards. There we go. That's good. Got plenty of damage doing stuff that we we're gonna be able to play with next time anyway. So that's good. But he's probably just gonna do eleven damage to me straight away. Maybe even more. Oh, freeze that character. Son of a gun. I think it'll be very easy to blame the game on Naturalize uh, here. God damn it, Naturalize! Uh, <laughs> I guess we could have actually used that to wipe that off, considering the fact that he might not have enough other good cards in his hand, but who knows? Who knows? Uh, we're gonna have to just kind of keep on. Keep on keeping on, as they say. Oh, get out of here! Get out of here! Ah! Ah! Well played. Ah. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. Uh, we're dead anyway, so there's not really much that I can do here. Thank you. Uh... My thanks to you. Oh, well. I am not a morning person. Well hey, give me a minute. Bam. And there we go. And boom goes the dynamite. Well, we've, we've, we're done. Do you, can you just... Well played. Can you just kill me before I concede? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, dear, oh, dear. My thanks. My thanks to you. Well, at least we got to level 11. <laughs> <laughs> You've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you had enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way, I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So. You've been watching the Gaffcast 
We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.